Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Blakes here, man. So, ever since Victor Wembanyama's debut in the preseason against Chet and the OKC Thunder, I've been wanting to do a rebuild of the Spurs because, you know, let's call it like it is, man. Like, Tim Duncan, he got a championship in his first season. Now, I don't know if I could do that with Victor, but if we can win one, like, within three seasons, I'm going to consider this a very successful rebuild. So, also, a little known fact about me, uh, gray is actually my favorite color. I know, man. So exciting, right? But I love the color gray. So we're going to rock it out here with this Spurs team. And uh, if you guys want more rebuilds, you know, throughout the season, leave a like on this video so I know you want this type of content. But okay, so the thing that intrigued me about Victor the most was the cherry picking. And I don't mean that disrespectfully because it's a good play call. Like, if he's mobile enough with his 10-foot wingspan to run down the court and you just have to whip that thing, you know, down there for an easy basket and you can't block him because nobody can jump that high unless, I don't know, man, maybe like Aaron Gordon can potentially get one every once in a while. Maybe you can hire some defensive backs out of the NFL. Um, you're going to do that every single time, man. So the way that I want to focus on this rebuild is obviously Victor has to be the center point. But obviously, too, I want to surround him with some 3 and D players. I want to surround him with some guys that can get him the basketball, you know, on the fast break or even in a half-court set. So, yeah, man, um, it's a really good squad as far as potential goes. You know, Devin Vassell just got himself a really nice contract. I think he's definitely worth the money. Um, Just really solid, man. Last year, 19 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists per game, shot 39% from 3. I think he's a perfect guy to have next to Victor, so I don't plan to get rid of him. Uh, you got Keldon Johnson, who's 24-80 overall in 2K, averaged 22 points a game last season, 33% um, from three. I imagine his scoring is going to go down a little bit because he's not really the focus of the team anymore, offensively speaking, but uh, still a really solid player, just has to be able to knock down his shots, obviously be optimal next to Victor. You got Trey Jones out there, he's fine, Um I mean, I like the seven assists per game last season. Didn't really shoot the three all that nicely. But uh, I think there's room for improvement at that starting point guard spot. Not to say he can't be a backup or, you know, a, a part of the team somehow. But we'll kind of see, man. You got Jeremy Sohan, who I like quite a bit. Um, the issue is that I, I like him as a power forward. And that's the position we have Victor at. Um, because I, I'm thinking, like, if I want to put Victor at center or not. But the thing about that is, you know, Victor is going to be great on help defense. He's going to be great on, you know, grabbing loose balls. But do I want him to focus on anchoring the center position? Or do I want him to be free to kind of roam the court and let everybody else do the dirty work? Now, I guess in theory, no, he's got a C-plus rebound. I was like, we could put him at center and just do positionless basketball. But I think for now, we'll have Jeremy come off the bench. Um, Zach Collins, he was looking pretty good in preseason. No complaints about him. Uh, Malachi Brown, I'm out there. Uh, I think he'll be a pretty good scorer in the NBA. And, you know, we got Jed, you got Devante, you got Basie out here, man. Dougie McBuckets. I mean, there's some, there's some ball players on this team, but okay. So the first player, the first trade I'm going to make here, because like I said, man, we're trying to bring in a championship, right? Um, is one guy that I think would be perfect at that center position next to Victor. And he plays for the Memphis Grizzlies. You guys might know him as... Where's he at, though, man? You're in the, you know what I'm talking about, man. We always talk about Luke Kennard. Uh, no, I'm talking about Steven Adams. Steven Adams is one of the best outlet passers in the entire NBA. He's a very low usage guy. He's just going to go out there and make all the right plays. He's got a very friendly contract. It's only two seasons. Uh, at about $25 million, so I think he'd be perfect on this squad next to Victor at that center spot, just bring that toughness, and as far as trades go, uh, Zach Collins and Charles, I can kind of probably do that, uh, Trey Jones, Zach Collins, that's a little bit too much, not doing Vazell, not doing Keldon, not doing Jeremy, okay, so let's do this trade right here, man, Jake and Steven for Zach and Charles, that sounds good to me, I like it, and the uh, Grizzlies get a little bit younger with this trade with Zach Collins, so there you go, man, Let's uh, accept that trade. Welcome to the squad. Okay, so uh, speaking of other great outlet passers in the NBA, another team that I'm thinking of, another player that I think would be good, like in a six-man role, they can play that power forward or center position, and we should hopefully be able to get him for pretty cheap, man. He's pretty up there in age now, but so he'll bring a professionalism to the team, and that's going to be over on the Miami Heat. Uh, Kevin Love, so you guys can see, I'm going for, for I'm going for quarterbacks out there, man. That can really get him going on that uh, on that cherry picking fast break. So for this trade here, we gotta give up Jake 
and a first round pick we get kevin love in a first round pick okay so definitely trade in um age years because he was yeah the 19th pick in the draft okay uh what else we got we got trey jones keldon malachi blake wesley and two second round picks i kind of like that 25th pick in the draft yeah i don't really see myself using blake wesley so let's go ahead and do this trade right here man there we go giving up some picks works for me Alrighty, so let's take another look at this lineup. So I'm thinking, yeah, we got Jeremy listed there with Kevin Love. Is he listed at center or power forward? Okay, um, so I'm thinking what we'll probably do. Do I just make the switch now and put Jeremy at small forward? Am I ready to do that? Wait, what? Well, my bad. Okay, I got to fix this all up here. Uh, let's see what his, rank, what, what his rating looks like too if we do that. So, oh, he actually goes up to an 80. Okay, yeah, we're definitely doing that. And we'll put him at power forward secondary. Then Kevin Love, um, so he stays the same at center. He's been playing some center, you know, in years past, which I'm kind of okay with. Like I said, if he's playing out there with Victor, it doesn't really matter what position he's playing. But secondary power forward, so we can also play out there with Steven Adams. So that sounds pretty good. Um, another player that I'm considering bringing in, and I know as a Piston fan, I'm probably juicing up a little bit more, but telling you guys check out his first preseason game he looked absolutely amazing you got that french connection i don't know if we'll be able to get him or not but that's going to be killian hayes guys so killian hayes um offensively speaking you know he's got a lot to prove but everything else the intangibles man are just he's, he's a very smart very intelligent basketball player and i would love him on this team here so I'm not doing uh, I, mean, I would do that trade but i don't know if y'all would do that trade all righty so to do this um I mean, we could just do trey jones maybe uh jetty osman let's do jetty osman and i'll even toss in i don't know like a let's do a future first i guess should i make it protected two star two and a half star for a three star that math adds up there we go and they're asking for too much okay well that's not gonna get it done uh what about if we just do you all just have trey jones that's got to be enough right all right they're still asking for too much okay what if i toss in i mean this is is killing haze man i mean you know it's uh as, as a piston fan i come on man like we're not giving up too much here this is a perfect trade all righty i'll do another second <laughs> if it's not that then we might have to wait till free agency to see if we can scoop them up there man Alrighty, so that's not going to happen this season here. That's okay. We've done quite a few trades, but uh, you know, I kind of want to get this team on lockdown. What is... Uh, seven, seven assists per game is pretty nice, but I want somebody a bit better offensively. So let's see if we can find something here, man. Let's do a trade of Trey Jones, Devante. I don't mind keeping him as a backup scoring point guard. I'll, I'll toss in Dougie McBuckets. We don't need him and Jetty on the team. So let's see what, if this can get us something decent. Uh, so we're definitely looking at the point guard position. But I'm not going to force anything. Markel Fultz. It's a tad interesting to say the least. But I uh, want somebody a little bit better offensively out there too, man. Really good. You know, I don't want to mess up the spacing of the team. Here we can get Marvin Bagley, Monte Morris. Uh, I think I'll pass on that. Mike Conley for a season. See, I kind of like... Okay, so he doesn't have like a team option or like a player option or something, does he? That's going to sneak up on us later, and <laughs> he doesn't. So we can get the vet Mike Conley out there. Then we get that expiring contract. No, because Wendell Moore kind of came. I think I'd rather just have Trey Jones, CP3. I'll take him. <laughs> uh, and then we got Tyus Jones. Are they are they related? Tyus Jones. What do you do, Tyus? And we get the line right out of it, who's a great uh, defensive player out there. Um, this trade seems kind of intriguing, man. What's, uh, what'd he do last season? Anything good? Anything worth noting? 10 points, 5 assists, bit better from 3. Cheaper contract? Well, it's only one season. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this trade right here. I'm gonna get Tyus Jones and DeLon Wright. And that kind of takes care of the point guard position for us. Uh, for the foreseeable future, I like the, you know, kind of yin, the yin and yang to that. You know, you got the offense with Trey, or with Tyus. And you got the defense with DeLon. Malachi can be back up. Let's see if we can just get rid of Devontae Graham. I'll get some second round picks for him. Maybe we can toss him with another contract. Uh, any bitch ass contracts? Not really. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to try to get rid of him then. Just try to save a little money. Uh, somebody please just give me an expiring contract. Covington, where you at? 
Come on, man. Don't, don't, no, no, no options. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I will take Roko. That sounds good to me. Also, probably a pretty good mentor to Jeremy Sohan. So, that should uh, be pretty solid. So, we are looking at a lineup. Yeah, we're switching out you with, uh, actually, you know what? Do I like this better with the line starting for the defense? What did he shoot from three last season? If he was solid from there, 35%. Forces. I like his good all-around game. No, we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Tyus Jones as the starter here, man. Um, so yeah, Victor's got to be playing a lot. Uh, we'll get Tyus there. Yeah, I want this dude playing because he's obviously got paid, so <laughs> he got to be out there performing now, man. Uh, we're okay, we'll, we will take him out of the lineup. Uh, yeah, the center position should be locked down pretty nicely between Kevin, Steven, and Victor. So I'm not gonna worry about adding another big guy. Okay, I think this looks pretty good, man. And we'll have a little bit of a few more minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good squad. I like it. It's, it's, it's not ideal yet, but it's definitely a good start to this rebuild. So, uh, beyond that, what else we got going on here? We got the... Uh, okay, we got the... System proficiency. There we go, man. So, we got three-star defense system with Coach Pops. Um, I think I'm going to go to something different. Balance was looking fine. Do I want this team running? Now nah, we'll go with balance. We got so much talent out there that we'll see what happens with it. But okay, so this first season, I mean, let's call it like it is. It is the man's rookie season. It is a very talented league. I don't know if we're a playoff team quite yet, but I think we'll head in the right direction. So let's simulate this first season and see just how good this new look Spurs team can do. Generational talent. Greg Popovich. Crispy as the GM man. 57 and 24 in the first season, which I don't know if this team will win 57 games, but if Victor is as good as advertised, which it looks like he is, man, like who who knows? You just never know, man. So we got one more game against my Detroit Pistons and Killian Hayes. Uh, simulate through date. Finished with a W on the season. So Jokic MVP, Victor, rookie of the year at 25 and 11, man. So um, that field goal percentage could be a little bit higher, but it's his rookie season. So... I'm not going to complain too much about that. All-NBA first, All-NBA second, and All-NBA third with Victor making that. Congratulations to the young blood. And, uh, yeah, man, we are the first seed. Wow, yo, 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 we might go Tim Duncan on this squad, man. <laughs> Let's go to the rest of the player stats on the season and see how everybody did for us. So, beyond that, uh, Keldon Johnson, wow, 20 points per game. Got that field goal efficiency up. Oh, my goodness, I'm... I was considering getting rid of him for Sohan to start. I'm so happy I did not. Sohan happy. Okay. Um, Devin Vassell, 17 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. Jeremy Sohan, I love him as a glue guy off the bench. And then Tyus Jones, uh, the assist game wasn't great, but overall it was pretty balanced ball movement. So that's all right. Kevin Love, 9 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, holding things down. I'm all right with it. So I'm going to find somebody else for a point guard, I think, though. But that will, but I, I mean, 57 and 24, whatever. I can't be complaining too much. So here we go. Uh, simulate playing. First round, we have the Sacramento Kings getting that eight seed. The disrespect to that Kings squad, man. Let's go ahead and simulate round here. See how this goes. And it's, it's going. <laughs> Four games to one, man. It is going. 26 for Vassell. 21 and 12 for Victor. This man is launching some threes, though. Okay. Next up, we got the Clippers. Simulate, uh, simulate rounds. Got them four games to one, man. 33 and 11 for Victor. 38 for Kawhi Leonard. We got the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals. Can we get it done? Simulate rounds. And we lose in the Western Conference Finals, man, to, you know, the experienced Lakers team. This Lakers team is no joke. So, I mean, I'm not, like, disappointed by that. I'm actually ecstatic that we did this well in the first season um, with just, you know, a few basic trades. Although... Oh my goodness, y'all like Christian Wood do that to you, Victor? Unacceptable. That's unacceptable. Okay, that will that will not happen. Um, the only thing I'm just you know, I'm I'm kind of a little wary about is that the the trades we made was for some aging players. I guess Stephen Adams is only gonna be like, I think he just looks like he's forty. I think he's only like in his late twenties. I don't know. <laughs> uh, draft lottery. I don't think we have anybody's draft pick, but you never know. Maybe we can go out. I don't know. He's even good in this draft class. Oh my. Oh oh. We have Charlotte's pick. Oh. We have Charlotte's pick, man. Y'all see that? 19.9%. Oh, my goodness. Where'd he go? 
Okay. Well, we got the seventh pick in the draft from Toronto, so that's all right. Okay, man. Uh, NBA draft. Let's get it. Oh, this could be interesting for us. Who's the first pick? First pick is Matt Bazelis. Never heard of him. Uh, sim to user pick. Let's get it. All right. Choose prospect, man. Where's Bronny at? Okay, so uh, 2K ranking-wise, we got Ron Holland here. Don't really need Ron Holland, but... Oh. <laughs> Maybe we do. <laughs> oh, my... <laughs> Maybe we do, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ron Holland... Man, Keldon was so nice for us, though. He was so nice. I can't pass up on this guy. He's literally got LeBron James as a ceiling. I guess we all have LeBron James as a ceiling, though, if we apply ourselves correctly in life. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and send him to the end here, man. I'm happy with that. Oh, my goodness. He is a 80 overall right off the bat. <laughs> this man fell. What was he? He must have been hanging out with Kai Jones or something like that in the offseason, bro. I don't know, man. I don't even know what's been going on with Kai Jones. So if he's done something offensive, I apologize. I, I don't. I literally do not know what's going on with him. I just saw him request a trade and I was confused. Uh, okay, free agency, man. So free agency wise, what do we got here? We got some point guards available, and that was one position that we were kind of speaking of that we could probably approve at. So I think my dude Killian Hayes is he? Uh, no, he's still not. Spurs fans are probably like, Crispy, please shut up about Killian Hayes. THT is a point guard now? Okay. Um, Tyus Jones. Oh, no. Tyus. He was an expiring contract, wasn't he? Okay. Well, James Harden is a five-star system match and a point guard. And I think I have the money to spend. I do. Oh, man. And he's from Texas. Or he was played in Texas for a long time. This isn't completely unrealistic in my opinion. I, mean, I could see him wanting to play with Greg Popovich, too. All right, we're offering him that money. Four-year deal. That's going to take him well at <laughs> the age of 38. I don't care. <laughs> I'll be done with this rebuild by then. So we got that. Uh, what else we got going here? We got DeMar DeRozan. We can bring him back to the team. Pascal Siakam. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson. We already got the cell out there. We don't really need Clay. Tyrese Maxey. He would be interesting at point guard also. I wouldn't, I would actually. Oh, okay. I guess I can't offer that to him for some reason. Uh, did, is... Oh, oh, did we just get James Harden? Is that it? Oh, hey, easy enough, man. Nobody, <laughs> nobody even. <laughs> man, you got all these GMs out here, bro. Like, Crispy, what are you doing? Like, they're all, did you see that Crispy Flakes, that new GM with the Spurs? Yeah, that man just offered James Harden a max contract. Does he realize he's 34? <laughs> there's gray in that beard. Yeah, well, there's also gray in the jersey now, too, so... I am, I'm happy with that. Okay, yeah, I'm not complaining whatsoever there, man. Um, but we got some choices to still make here because... No, I guess we don't. Yeah, Kelvin can still... No, we got, we got Holland now, man. Holland looks like he needs to be starting. Huh, what can we do? What else can we do? Okay, um, we could offer up a trade. I, mean, I wouldn't... Kelvin off the bench would not be the worst thing ever. But let's just kind of see what we could do with a trade of... Keldon and Steven Adams and see if we can maybe really upgrade that center position. I'll be tossing a first round pick, man. If we can do that, that might be worth, you know, considering. But if it's just bitch ass offers, like, yeah, this ain't nobody wants this. Uh, Lori. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. okay. Um, obviously a great trade. I'm not doing it because we don't have enough for Lori and Walker to be on this team. We just don't have the, the roster spots. Uh, here we got Mitchell Robinson. Josh Hart, we don't really need him. Okay, Miles Turner, I Andrew Race Walker for a good, you know, add some youth and athleticism to this team. This I can kind of get behind. Miles Turner kind of roaming that core with Victor, because he could play on the inside or out. I like that. Uh, OG LP Fred, real deal Bradley Beal, obviously a great trade. Rudy Gobert, we can kind of save the. Yo, he's also best friends with Victor. He's also... Mm, that might be the one, man. Obviously, there's some really good trades here. Like, Bradley Beal, come on. But they're not doing that trade. They might do that trade. I don't know. I don't think they would. But Miles Turner one ain't bad. But I think I got to go Rudy Gobert, man. I got to team him up with Victor. That just seems too perfect. 
Yeah. We're doing that. We're doing that. Okay. I like it. Uh, beyond that, let's go to this player progression. I bet you it's going to be crazy. Uh, player progression-wise, Victor's up five points. Down two for James Harden. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're not off to a good start with that max contract, are we? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Please be okay. James Harden, you have one season to prove yourself. If, if, you, if you screw this up with your big-ass, bitch-ass beard, I swear, man. I will trade you to, like, Alaska, okay? And I don't got a basketball team, man. Anchorage. Okay. So we're looking at, currently, a basketball team consisting of James Harden, Devin Fassell, Jeremy Sohan. But we are going to start Holland here. Gonna get him going early. Um, Rudy Gobert, Sohan, Malachi, Kevin Love still on the squad. Okay, we're a little... Uh, we're a little weak depth wise. What's he as a piece of power forward? Kevin Love's listed at center. Okay. I'll give this dude some minutes. We'll get him about 10 a game. So we got Victor playing a lot. Vassell playing a lot. You right there. Bench unit balling out, man. What else we got? We got Kemba Walker. Kemba, you want to play some basketball? We don't really got a backup point guard. You know what, Kemba? I want Kemba to get a ring. Kemba, you can be our backup point guard, man. You gotta be playing a lot though, uh <laughs> Harden. Um Ron Holland, a small forward power forward. I'm if he's got LeBron James ceiling, I'm debating putting him at secondary point guard. I don't think he's got it like that, though. At least maybe not yet. Let's see what his passing's looking like. If the passing is playmaking. Oh, is that a B? You know what? I'm sorry, Kemba. <laughs> I just you can still be on the TV. Wear the jersey, man. Uh, that's what I had to do once. Uh, the only season I made the basketball team. We all made it that year. It's not a big deal. Um, okay, yeah. So we'll do that. We'll have we'll have Holland be secondary point guard, and that could be interesting for us. Alrighty, and then Kemba will still be there just in case. We'll still give him his minutes. Fifty-seven wins last season. I I, I think we're a better team in theory. Um, oh, Kelvin. Yeah, Kelvin Johnson. That's right. We just traded him away for Rudy Gobert. That's right. We consolidated. We got a bigger need for the team. And we opened up the the uh the you know the squad from Ron out there to ball him and Ron Weasley. All right, let's go ahead and simulate this NBA season and see just how good this team can do. Okay, guys. So a 58 win team this season. One more game against the Sacramento Kings. Simulate through date and finish with a L on the season, of course. Ah, uh, Darius MVP. Good for you, man. You want to come to the Spurs? We'll treat you for James Harden. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, oh, I'm kind of disappointed that Ron Holland did not get Rookie of the Year. I was kind of banking on him kind of balling out. Amon Thompson got six, man. Okay. Uh, All-NBA first, All-NBA second, All-NBA third with Victor making that. I was kind of hoping for a bigger leap for him, too. But he had a really good rookie season, so I can't be too disappointed here. Uh, let's go to the player stats, man. Alrighty, so how did everybody do? Victor, 23, 11, and 3. Harden, 19 points. Love the 10 assists, obviously. Devin Vassell, very nice. And then Holland, uh, is 16 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Okay. Ooh, that 3 ball is not good, but this is rookie season. It'll be all right. Something to watch, though, man. Jeremy Sohan, pretty good balance season. Rudy Gobert, 8 points, 10 rebounds per game. Only one block? Come on, Rudy. I know this ain't like 2018 anymore, but come on, man. You, you, you can get more than one block per game. It's all good. Simulate playing. We got Jokic in the first round. Oh, goodness. Somebody get Rudy off the court. <laughs> Where you at, Kemba? Kemba, you can't play anymore, man. Not in this series. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. We got we to gotta consolidate a little bit, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Jake from State Farm. Got to pass on him, man. All right, Victor. We going crazy. James Harden. You want to get that? You do you want to get that ring or not? All right, Holland, right there. Yeah, we're uh, we're going crazy with the starters, man. Playoff time. It's Jokic. It's Jokic in the first round. Like, can't play around. There you go, man. Four games to one. Good balance attack. Oh, Jokic got shut down. Heck yeah, fantastic. Okay, Memphis Grizzlies simulate round. Woo, seven game series, seven game series. Victor dropping 24 and 15. We got 90 for Ubre. Lucanar dropping 10. Y'all know this man follows me on uh, Instagram. 
He checks out my story every now and then. Always makes me smile, man. Uh, next, oh, we the Lakers again. They beat us down last time. Simulate round. Come on, man. Don't beat us down. Let's go, Victor, in the freaking finals. 28 points, 11 rebounds, man, in the Western Conference playoffs. Who do we got? Cavs with, ooh, Darius Garland was pretty good. Darius, oh, goodness. He is, wow. Oh, this is a dangerous team. I don't know if I'm here for it. Let's go ahead and simulate with Simcast. Simulate game, man. Come on, guys. Come on, Victor. Come on, man. Let's get that W out there, baby. Let's get that W. Come on, guys. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, my God. We lost 102 to 100. I would jump into the game, but I hear the game is broken now, man. So, I don't know. Simulate with Simcast. Oh, my gosh, man. I can't believe we lost that. That could just, that was our home court, too. You got to win this next game here, guys. Okay, this is a blowout. Right? Right? Yup. Yup, yup. Okay, well, we're not going to blow out. They kind of came back a little bit. Yo, Ron Weasley, man, with the big 30. 27-13 for Victor. Okay. Here we go. Simulate with Simcast. Simulate game, man. On their home court now. We got we got to steal one here. We got to steal one. Come on, guys. Steal one back, man. Steal one back, man. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Anybody else breathing heavy? Is it just me? I had five hot dogs for breakfast. Um, simulate with Simcast. Come on, guys. Please, man. Let's get that 3-1. Let's get that 3-1. Let's get that 3-1. Let's get that 3-1. Oh, baby. A triple. We got that 3-1, man. It's working out. Okay. Simulate with Simcast. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, it's looking good. We're going to be NBA champions, baby. We're going to be NBA champions, baby. You know what? Yeah! <laughs> Tim Duncan is the greatest power forward of all time, man. The fact he did in his rookie season, he also got David Robinson, you know. Um, so, but, 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 but Victor did in his second season. So that's saying some good things. Finals MVP. Yes, freaking sir, man. Y'all know I got to do one more season. I said three season rebuild. I, I got to go for the repeat, man. Has Duncan ever went back to back? I'm pretty sure he always won it in like odd years. 99. I think he won it in, was it 05, 07, 09 or something like that? In, in like 2013. No, it wasn't 2013, was it? I don't remember. Um, Okay. I'm not going to worry about really too much here, man. I mean, let's go to free agency, I suppose. But overall, like, Kawhi, you want to come to the team? We can't afford him. That would be kind of cool, though. Um, yeah, I, I I feel pretty good about our squad. Let's get my dude Luke up in here. Man. Let's get this man a ring if we can. Come on, Luke. I don't know if he's going to play much, but we'll kind of see. Um, did we lose anything, too? Uh, Boucher, Hernan Gomez. I think we're pretty good still. Oh, Kevin Love might have retired. Yeah, I think that dude's gone. Okay, let's see what we get for some power forwards, man. Uh, Chris Boucher, that's not bad. Can he rebound at all? Aim oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Boucher, there we go. Perfect. I like him. Like him already, man. The Kevin Love replacement. Um, Who else we want to go for? I don't think... I like Gary Payton just for his hustle. He don't even got to play, but he'll be hustling out there, man. And you know what? Maurice Wagner, let's get you, man. Nope, can't do that. Okay, uh, player progression. Victor, you got to be up high now, bro. You got to be up high now. But yeah, that was... Oh, yeah, he's up to 93. But yeah, that was kind of the idea. Of, oh, he's going down, down, down. That was the idea behind getting James Harden, though, man. Because I knew we could like lead the league in assists. So I just needed somebody that's you know, high basketball IQ that could give Victor that ball. And he's he did it pretty phenomenally. But uh, we'll see. I don't know if we'll be repeating. Although Ron Holland, we can't forget about him either. Uh, okay, they can bring that down. Final season here, so we'll just auto-generate that. Okay. So, Han. What can we do to make this team better? We got an expiring deal here for Rudy Gobert. Bench unit looks fine enough. Do I... James Harden's down to an 84. I don't know if we're repeating with that. Nobody's taking on both these guys. Paul George, Drew Holiday. I mean, I guess that's a trade. <laughs> that is a trade that we're not doing. 
I think we're probably fine. Yeah, because, like, we're not going to get better than James Harden right now. We're just not. It's not going to happen. So, yeah, we're going to rock it out with the uh, same squad here. And we're going to go with a nine-man rotation. That seems good to me. Victor playing a lot. Same with Ron Holland. Vassell, we haven't really even been talking about him at all, man. But uh, he's been pretty nice. But, okay. Let's go ahead and simulate this final season, man. And see if we can get ourselves that 50-plus win season. That's all I'm going to say. Simulate through day. I said that too. I'm going to continue saying words throughout the rest of the video. Victor getting his first uh, regular season MVP. Got the finals MVP first, which is the more important one. Uh, Cooper Flag, Rookie of the Year. Asar Thompson, six man. Why, why are they putting the Thompson brothers on the bench, man? Let these kids start. Come on now. Okay. Uh, all NBA first, All NBA second, and All NBA third. Uh, we are the first seed. Let's go back to these player stats on the season, man. See how everybody did for us out there. So, yeah, Victor balled out. Uh, Holland at 27 and 3. Vassell at 18 and 5. James Harden, 8. Wow, yeah, we got some good scores on this team. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really regret any of the trades that I made. Like, Kellen Johnson's great, but you kind of know what he's going to be already. I'm, I'm happy we brought Ron Holland, okay? No, I think we got him in the draft. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, I guess we have Rudy Gobert, but we needed Rudy Gobert more than we needed. Keldon, uh, let's go ahead and simulate playing. First round, we got the Houston Rockets. Simulate round. Let's just go out here, man. Get ourselves another champion. Let's just do it. 27 for Harden, man. Going for that back-to-back -back ring. I'm in Thompson, 25, 9, and 5. Not a six-man anymore, is he? Simulate round against the Kings. Four games to zero. 27, 19, and 6 for Victor. Next up, Pelicans. Simulate, uh, simulate round. Victor, another Finals MVP. This could be the start of something very scary for the rest of the NBA, man. This ain't fair. We got the Heat. I don't know what to worry about the six seed Heat. We ain't worried. We're not worried. Simulate rounds. There you have it, got. Oh! Good for you, Devin Vassell. Good for you, man. I'm happy for you, bro. Get you that Finals MVP. That is all we have for this video, guys. What y'all think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.